Hello, thank you for joining us today. We're gonna to have an hour long Hatha yoga class. Taking as much time as you need to set up, grab any props, bolsters, blankets, or anything else you might need. If you wanna to listen to some music during it, you can go to our Spotify account. Uh, there'll be a link in the description box below. Um, this is Chris Denno on Spotify. And when you're ready, it's allowing yourself to start in your Tadasana, in your mountain pose. Standing tall, your feet can be hip width apart or your toe mounts a touch. Navel, low ribs hugging in. Taking one big shoulder roll, letting your shoulders draw towards your ears. Release down your back. And if it's okay, allowing your eyes to close. Allowing you to notice your breath. Noticing when you inhale and noticing when you exhale. And as you breathe, allowing your awareness of your breath to be your guide. No matter what we do or what IQ, letting your breath and your body dictate where you move. Full deep breaths in and out. Allowing your awareness to draw down towards the soles of your feet. Noticing where weight shifts in your feet as you are standing. As we stand, we're never perfectly still. We're always shifting and adjusting. Subtle movements, left, right, forward, and back. And as you breathe and stand, allowing you to notice those subtle shifts. Not trying to control or force anything, just allowing you to be aware. Take one more full breath here, deep breath in and out. Allowing your arms to sweep tall and overhead, finding length, a soft bend to your knees, forward fold, coming all the way down. Slowly rising halfway up, finding length through your spine. And forward fold once more, pausing here in a gentle fold, allowing your head and neck to relax. You can shake your head yes, then no. Shake your head maybe. One more full breath here, breath in and out. A deep bend to your knees and slowly rolling up to stand. Letting your head and neck be the last thing to rise and taking a big shoulder roll at the top. Pausing here for a breath, a full breath in and out. And sweeping your arms overhead once more. And forward fold coming all the way down. Slowly rising halfway up to find length. And forward fold. Soft bend into your knees, slowly rolling up to stand. Another big shoulder roll. Pause for a breath, a full breath in. And out. Sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall, pausing here. Finding length. And move into your side bend. You can interlace your fingers pointing through your index finger or taking your left wrist with your right hand or any other hand placement that's right for you. When you're ready to find length and side bending towards the right. Letting your navel ribs hug in. Allowing your left shoulder to roll open. 
finding whatever depth works for you. One more breath here, a deep breath in and out. Slowly coming back through center to reach tall and forward fold coming all the way down. Slowly coming halfway up the fine length and forward fold once more. Deep bend to your knees, rolling up to stand. Taking your big shoulder roll at the top. And two or three more here. Pausing for a full breath in. And out. And sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall. You're gonna find your side bend towards the other side, taking whatever grasp you took on the first side. So if you interlace your fingers, you can take the opposite interlace. Just one run, run down on your finger ladder or your right wrist with the left hand, finding the length and side bending towards the left. Navel, ribs, hugging in, chest rolling open towards the ceiling and finding the depth that's right for this side of your body. Two more breaths here, breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. As you inhale, coming back through center, reaching tall and forward fold, coming all the way down. Slowly to rise halfway up, finding length. And forward fold, pausing here. You can find a passive, gentle fold, or you can work into your active forward fold. Allowing the crown of your head to draw towards the ground, your hips to start to draw up towards the ceiling. Take your hands wherever is right for you. Think me on blocks, the ground, your shins, or any other bind that would work. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. And a soft bend to your knees, slowly rolling up to stand. Taking a big shoulder roll. Letting your hands release behind your lower back. You can either take a hold of your hands or interlace your fingers. Taking another shoulder roll, letting your chest stay open, staying right here, allowing your arms to straighten out towards the ground. Chest lifting up towards the ceiling, navel ribs hugging in. Your head and neck can go wherever is comfortable for you. One more full breath in and out. Finding a bend into your elbows to release your shoulders. And taking a few shoulder rolls from the back towards the front. Letting your arms do whatever feels natural. One more in this direction and go from the front towards the back. I'm pausing here, allowing your hands to draw to your heart center. Uniting the practice today with a single OM. Taking a full deep breath in. Releasing your hands, opening your eyes, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall, and forward fold, coming all the way down. Slowly rising, halfway up, finding length, 
And releasing your hands down, stepping your right foot back, your low lunge, coming out to your right knee. If you need any support, you can place a blanket or anything else under your right knee. Allowing your hips to draw forward, chest to begin to lift. And staying right here, allowing yourself to work a little bit taller. You can keep your hands to your palms, your fingertips, maybe the blocks. If you want to work a little higher, you can draw your hands towards your left knee, maybe keeping a block under your right hand. Wherever is right for you, arms can be overhead or hands to your heart center. One more full deep breath in and out. Letting your hands release back down to your mat. And straighten into your front leg, letting your hips come back above your right knee. Left foot can, can scoot a little more forward if you need it to. Finding length through your spine, staying here or folding over your extended leg. And if you need blocks, you can take blocks underneath your palms, wherever fits your body. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. Bending back into your front knee, finding your lunge. We're gonna move right into your twist. Letting your right palm ground, either your mat or block. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale to twist. Left hand can be on your left knee, arm extending tall behind your lower back. Wherever is right for today. One more full breath in and out. Letting your left hand release back down and stepping your right foot to meet your left back foot forward. Inhale to find length and exhale to fold. Inhaling halfway up once more. Letting your hands release down, left foot steps back, your low lunge coming out to your left knee. Hips drawing forward, chest beginning to lift. And moving into wherever space works for you. Your fingertips, the blocks, your hands can rise up to your front knee, hands to your heart center or extending overhead. Two more breaths here. Breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Releasing your hands down to your mat, straightening into your front leg, hips above your left knee. Your right foot can scoot as far forward as you need it to. Finding length through your spine and folding over your extended leg. here, deep breath in and out, and bending into your front knee, coming back into your low lunge, finding your twist, left palm to ground, inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, the twist, open, 
staying here with your hand onto your right knee, maybe your arm extending or drawing behind your lower back. One more full breath in and out. Releasing your right hand back down, stepping your left foot to meet your right back foot forward. As you inhale, it rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. Deep bend to your knees as you inhale, rolling up to stand. Taking a big shoulder roll at the top. Taking two or three more. Pausing here for a full breath, a deep breath in and out. Stepping your right foot back, your warrior one, your Virabhadrasana one. Your right toes about 45 degrees out towards the side. Right hip drawing forward, left hip drawing back. Chest lifting tall. Hands can be at your hips, your heart center may be extending overhead. Finding a space where you feel stable and allowing yourself to breathe within that space. Full deep breaths in and full deep breaths out. Two more breaths here. Deep breath in and out. Another full breath in and out. Drawing your hands to your heart center. Stepping your right foot to meet your left. And stepping your left foot back, your warrior one, your Virabhadrasana one. And setting through your feet. Your left hip to draw forward, your right hip to draw back, chest to lift, and noticing how this side might be different than the other side, and that's okay. And finding the placement for your arm, wherever that is, and allowing yourself to breathe. Deep breaths in, and deep breaths out. Two more breaths here. Deep breath in and out. Another full breath in and out. And drawing your hands to your heart center and stepping your left foot to meet your right. Pausing here for a full deep breath in and out. Stepping your right foot back, your warrior two, your Virabhadrasana two. The outside edge of your right foot parallel to the back of your mat, hips squaring over towards the side, working towards drawing your left knee directly above your left ankle. Hands can be your hips, your heart center, or extending out into a T. Your arms are extending out, allowing you to be active within your arms. Imagine you have bookshelves underneath your palms and you're trying to press it down on the bookshelf. Navel rib tugging in, chest to lift. And allowing your breath to come and go. And 
One more full breath here as you breath in and out. Drawing your hands to your heart center and stepping your right foot to meet your left. And stepping your left foot back, your warrior two, your Virabhadrasana two. And setting up for this side of your body. Setting up through your hips, your feet, checking in with your right knee, front knee right above your ankle, and finding a placement for your arms. Your arms are extended out, active and strong. Allowing your breath to come and go. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. Hands to your heart center and stepping your left foot to meet your right. Pausing for a breath, a full deep breath in and out. And stepping your right foot back, your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, once more. Allowing your body to set up. <clears throat> taking the time taking the time to find that perfect space for your body at this point in your practice at this day in your life taking one full breath here deep breath in and out flipping your front palm toward the ceiling tilting back your reverse warrior your right hand can come down your right leg or draw across your lower back. Your left hip may be your inner left thigh. Wherever you end up finding length from your left hip through your left fingertips. Two more breaths in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Slowly rising back to your warrior two. Finding your extended side angle, reaching long and hinging down your forearm across your knee. You can draw your palm towards a block or towards the ground. Your right arm can draw up towards the ceiling or drawing overhead. If you have any shoulder issue, issues, you can draw your right hand behind your lower back as well. Allowing your chest to roll open towards the ceiling. Taking one more full breath here. Breath in and out. Keeping strength in your legs, slowly rising back to your warrior two. Pausing for a breath in and out hands to your heart center stepping your right foot to meet your left moving right onto the other side left foot steps back your warrior two finding your depth your space on this side allowing your body to set up to feel your strength to breathe to notice. When you're ready, we're gonna find your reverse warrior on this side, the front palm to flip, then tilting back. Once more, the left hand can draw down your back leg, drawing to your right hip, or your right inner thigh, wherever works for you. One more full breath here, breath in and out. Slowly rising to your warrior two, 
Moving into your extended side angle, reaching long and hinging down. Again, your forearm across your knee, a block or a drawing down towards your mat. Left hand up towards the ceiling or drawing overhead. If you have shoulder issues, you can draw behind your lower back. Wherever you end up, chest rolling open towards the ceiling. Two more breaths here. Breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Pressing down into your feet, slowly rising to your warrior two. A full breath here in and out. Hands to your heart center, stepping your left foot to meet your right. Pausing for a breath, a full breath in and out. We're going to move into your tree pose, your Vikstrasana. We're going to stand on your left foot first. So if you need a wall or some support, you can move towards the wall or have a chair nearby. And when you're ready, letting your right heel just start to lift. You can stay here, letting your heel draw towards your ankle. Staying here and just maybe letting your foot flex and the toes come off the ground. If you're feeling stable here, the foot can come to your calf. Or you can draw it to your left inner thigh. Just be mindful not to press on the knee. So wherever is right for you. Hands could be your hips, your heart center. If you'd like, you can extend your arms overhead. And finding your dristi, your point of gaze. If you're feeling unsteady, letting your point of gaze draw towards the ground about 10 feet or so in front of you. Allowing it to be something that's not moving. And allow your breath to flow in and out. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. Letting your right knee hug into your chest. And then gently to release. You can shake everything out, your feet, your ankles, your hips. And when you're ready, we're gonna work onto the other side. Letting your right foot start to ground. Staying here, maybe just letting your left heel come off the ground. Staying here, letting your heel come towards your ankle, the knee opening out towards the side. You can stay here, letting the toes start to come off. You can work right here if this is enough for your balance feeling stable, the foot can come to your calf or to your right inner thigh. Again, no more pressing on the knee. Hands can be your hips, your heart center, or extending overhead. Allowing you to find a new point of gaze. It might be the same spot or a slightly different spot. But wherever you choose, allowing you to focus on that point. Letting the steadiness draw into your body. And allowing your breath to come and go. Taking two more breaths here in and out. Another full breath in and out. Letting your left knee draw into your chest and gently to release. You can shake everything out, your feet, your ankles, your toes, maybe a little wiggle, maybe your feet nice and wide, take some big hula hoops. One direction, maybe the other. When you're ready, we're going to make your way into a seat, coming all the way down onto the ground, however you like to get there. Moving into your bound angle, your baddha konasana, soles of your feet together, heels towards your hips, 
If you like, you can bring a block or bolster or anything underneath your hips. If you feel your hips or your low back are tight, lifting your hips allowing, allows you to get a little bit more rotation through your pelvis. When you're ready, finding length through your spine. Trying to maintain this length and just leaning forward. You can stay right here. We're beginning to fold forward. Wherever you end up, allowing your head and neck to release. Allowing you to breathe in and out. three more full breaths here. A deep breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Slowly rising back up. Letting your knees hug into your chest and letting your left leg extend out long in front of you. We're going to find a seated twist. Letting your right hand come behind you. Your right foot can be right underneath where your knee is, or you can take it across the left leg, whichever way feels good for your body. As you inhale to find length, exhale to twist towards the right. You can have your hand on the knee, you can hug your knee into your elbow, or you can take the elbow on the outside edge, whichever place feels best for you. But wherever you end up letting your spine lengthen, to find your twist. One more full breath here in and out. Slowly coming back through center. Maybe a counter twist over towards the left if you'd like. We're going to find your Janu Shoshasana, letting your right knee open out towards the side. Solve your right foot to your left inner thigh. So you inhale to find length, squaring over your left leg, and beginning to fold. Allowing your right rib cage to draw down towards your left thigh. Allowing your left leg to be active, toes drawing back towards you. Slow, deep breaths in and out. Two more breaths here, deep breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. You're ready, slowly rising back up. Letting your left knee hug into your chest and then your right hug in as well. Giving yourself a nice big hug. When you're ready, letting your right leg extend out in front of you, finding your twist on the left side. So again, your foot either right in front of you or crossing over your leg. Left hand drawing behind you, inhale to find length. Exhale to find your twist. And any placement for your arm around your knee. Allow your spine to lengthen and finding your twist within that length.
more full breath, a deep breath in and out. Slowly coming back through center, maybe a counter twist over towards the right if you'd like. Coming back through center, John or Shirshasana on this side, left knee beginning to open, finding length, squaring over your right leg and beginning to fold. Left rib cage drawing down toward your right thigh. Right leg active and engaged, toes drawing back towards you. Two more breaths in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Ready, slowly rising up. Letting your right knee hug into your chest, and left knee hug into your chest. Giving yourself a nice big hug. We're gonna find one round of your boat pose. Letting you begin to balance onto your hips. So you can stay right here, allowing your chest to lift tall. Maybe your shins start to draw parallel towards the ground. You can stay here, maybe your hands support your thighs or they draw parallel towards you, towards your leg. Wherever you are, letting your knees squeeze in towards each other. Staying here, chest lifting or letting your legs extend out long. Three more breaths, a deep breath in and out. Another deep breath in and out. One more full breath in and out. Drawing your knees into your chest and rolling onto your back. Give yourself a big hug, maybe a light rock side to side or any other movement that would feel good for you. And when you're ready, letting your feet release down to your mat, you're going to take one round of your bridge pose. And your heels walk back through your hips, arms coming down by your sides, maybe a tuck of your shoulder blades underneath your back. Taking a full deep breath in and out. When you're ready, allowing your hips to start to lift. Maybe readjusting your shoulder blades underneath your back, allowing your hips to press tall. If you'd like support, you can bring a block underneath your hips here. You're not going to be here for that long. Taking three more full breaths, a deep breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. One more full breath in and out. When you're ready, removing any support that might be there and slowly rolling down to your mat. Pausing here for a few breaths, maybe letting your knees settle towards each other or any place where you can find ease in your body. I'm going to move into your lying twist, letting your knees come into your chest and letting your knees come over towards the left side of your body, taking any adjustment with your hips or any leg variation that would feel good for you. So you can have your knees stacked, you can have your eagle legs, the right leg over the left, or your left leg extended out in front of you. 
whichever space feels best in your body. And wherever you've ended up, taking one big clearing breath, a deep breath in, and a big sigh out. Beginning to let your body release and let go. Two more breaths to your breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Slowly letting yourself come back through center. Taking any readjustment of your hips or your spine. And when you're ready, we're going to move over towards the other side. Your knees can stay together. You can have your eagle legs left over your right, or let your right leg extend long, wherever fits best on this side of your body. And once you move into your space here, taking one full clearing breath, a deep breath in, and a big sigh out. Allowing everything to go. Maybe tickle your neighbor's foot. <laughs> One more full breath. A deep breath in and out. When you're ready, slowly come back through center. And when you're ready, we're slowly going to make your way up to sit, finding time for a short meditation. So you can rock forward and back all the way up, or making your way up however you would like to be. Allowing yourself to be in a comfortable seat. So you can bring a block or bolster underneath your hips. Whatever you might like. And once you're in your comfortable seat, allowing you to find your breath. Slow deep breaths in. And out. Beginning to notice any parts of your body that might be calling to you. Making any adjustments as needed. Also allowing yourself to be aware of your body. Allowing your breath to flow. Allow your mind to find a focus. Your focus can be anything. It can be your breath, it can be an image, a color, a mantra. Whatever you choose, allow me to come back to your focus when your mind wanders. When you notice your mind wandering, allowing you to release any judgments of it and move back to your focus. Our minds tend to wander and that's okay. It's a process of coming back. That is our meditation.
this faith into your body, into your breath. Allowing time and space for full deep breaths in and full deep breaths out. When you're ready, you're going to make your way into your Shavasana, your final relaxation. Allowing yourself to roll down onto your mat any way that feels good. You can take any amount of support, but maybe a bolster, a blanket, or a pillow underneath your knees. And allowing your body to be as comfortable as it can be here. Taking up as much space around you, any placement for your arms, your legs. And when you're ready, taking two clearing breaths, a deep breath in through your nose, a big sigh out. Doing another one, a full deep breath in. Just opening your mouth, allowing air to release on its own. Allowing your body to settle into this space, onto your mat, into a breath that feels right for it.
allowing with each breath life, energy, and movement to make its way back into your bodies, your fingers and toes, arms and legs, and through your head and neck, allowing a breath in to reach long through your arms and your toes, and slowly rolling onto your side right or left. Pausing here for a full breath, a deep breath in, and sighing it out. And when you're ready, making your way up into a comfortable seat. Any seat that feels right for you. Allowing your hands to draw to your heart center. Feeling the practice today with a single only. Taking a deep breath in and letting it go. A breath, a breath in to own. so much for sharing time, space, and energy with us this day, this evening. The light in me sees and honors the light within you. Namaste.